learn about implementation in the OSCE station. So, you are on your 12 o'clock drug round to your patient, Jake Gonzaga, who has been presenting symptoms of headache and blurred vision. He is suspected to have subdural hematoma and is waiting for CT scan results for confirmation. Please proceed in giving due oral medications, assuming the date is today and it is at 12 noon. So this is the start of your OSCE station. As I enter the room, I have to check if the scene is safe. Hi, good morning, my name is Mark. I'll be your nurse for today. How would you like me to call you? Jake. Hi, Jake. Is it all right if I'll just close the curtains for privacy? Yep. So let me just close the curtains and let me begin the station with the seven steps of hand hygiene. I've already washed my hands with soap and water, so I'll use a hand rub. Palm to palm, back of my hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, rotational rubbing of the thumb, fingertips, wrist, wrist, I'll let my hands dry. So Jake, I'd just like to make sure that I'm with the right patient. Can you just tell me your full name and your date of birth, please? Jake Gonzaga, 29-9-1953. So that's Jake Gonzaga, 29-9-1953. I'll just double check it in your wristband. It's the same information. The hospital number is 7367050. Jake, are you allergic to any food, medication, latex, or any um, dressing? To peanuts. Are you allergic to peanuts? What do you get when you ingest peanuts? I get rashes. I can see it's well documented in here that you're allergic to peanuts and you get a rash. It's signed by Dr. Gregory House today. I'll make sure, um, Jake, you won't be given anything with peanuts or any derivative of it, all right? Okay. All right, so um, i just like to make sure that you're comfortable. Are you in any pain? Yes, I have a headache. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, if you're going to rate your pain from 0 to 10, 0 is the least and 10 is the highest, which scale are you on? 6. That's a 6. That's a bit too high. Well, it's very timely, Jake, because right now I'm doing the drug rounds for you. I'll be giving you your medications for 12 o'clock. I can check if there are any other pain relief I can give you at this point. But for now, um, let me just help you in uh, positioning you to an upright position, which would be just 30 degrees as you are suspected with subdural hematoma. You should only be nursed at a 30 degree angle. And also just do your deep breathing exercises. I can prop a pillow underneath as well to make you feel com more comfortable. Is the pain uh, manageable? Um, I think I still need some medication. All right, so we'll look into the drug rounds right now. Is that fine with you? Can you, you tolerate as I go on with my uh, with checking your medication? Yes, I can. All right, so assessor, shall I just proceed? Yes, please. All right. So, um, as I mentioned, I'll be doing my, my drug rounds. I have to ensure that I have here a drug trolley that is clean, um, that's also um, securely locked. But for the purpose of this examination, I have the key. I can open it now just to make it ready. And then I have here a BNF that's readily available for drug references. And I also will adhere to the seven drug rights. So I will now be reading the prescription um, to for Jake Gonzaga, male, hospital number 7367050, date of birth is September 29, 1953, 28 Church Street, admission date and time is today at seven in the morning, allergic to peanuts, got a, uh, will have rashes, signed by Dr. Gregory House today, and the ward is Helena Ward, consulted is Dr. Amir Khan. Um, there is a special dietary requirement and that's pescatarian. The height is 173 centimeters and the weight is 75 kilograms. Jake, I'd just like to confirm this information. Are all the information correct? Yes. All right, so we'll make sure that the kitchen also knows about the diet you require. Uh, moving on to the next page for the same patient with the same information on the addressograph we have once only and stat doses today at 11 in the morning paracetamol one gram per orem up signed by amir khan a uh, prescriber prescribed by amir khan bleep is 7556 given today by t smith uh, at 11 in the morning so um Jake, I actually can see in the in your prescription that you have been given paracetamol this morning, do, an hour ago. Do you remember if you've taken any of that pain relief? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. So you've already been given this medication an hour ago. Um, 
Is it all right if we'll just wait for the medication to kick in and to have its full effectivity and then from there we'll see if um, you would still be requiring any pain relief. All right. Maybe right now the, the, the drug hasn't really worked well yet. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me move on. Prescribed oxygen therapy today by Amir Khan, 94 to 98 percent and um, to reach the target via nasal cannula, four liters per minute. Um, I can see that the uh, assessor, may I know what the, the oxygen saturation of the patient is? 97. So 97, it's within the target range. So I'm not going to give um, oxygen therapy. But Jake, if in case at any point you would have any hard time breathing, let me know. Because anyway, you have an oxygen prescribed, which we can put you on if in case you're having a hard time breathing. And um, we'll also be double checking your oxygen saturation every once in a while. Now for PR, PRN medication, there is a um, medication which is signed for today, Cocodamol. 30 for 500 milligram PO, four hourly for pain, signed by Amir Khan 7556. So this is a valid, legible, and complete prescription. This is as required medication for pain relief. However, Jay, I'm not be I, I won't be able to give you this medication because if we confirm from the BNF, um Cocodamol has a combination of um, codeine and paracetamol. So You've already had your paracetamol, uh, you, you won't be allowed to take another set of paracetamol. So, so I, I won't be giving you this medication. Let's move on to the next page. Um, with the same information of the same patient on the addressograph, there are no antimicrobials prescribed. Um, moving on to the regular medications, we have the drug prednisolone. Today, 10 milligrams ODPO, five days. Start date is today and after five days is the finished date. Signed by Amir Khan 7556. It's 12 o'clock, so this is a valid legible prescription and it is due my time. I'm happy to give you this medication. Prednisolone. Yep, prednisolone, 5 milligrams. Okay. I'll just set that aside for now while I continue checking your prescription. Next medication is carbamazepine. Today, 100 milligrams BDPO continuous. Start date is today. And to finish continuously, uh, prescriber is Amir Khan 7556. Mm, it's BD, it's twice a day. You were supposed to be given your medication this morning, Jake, at 8 in the morning, but I don't see any signature in here, so I'm assuming you haven't been given this carbamazepine. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, I will confirm okay. with the nurse. Um, who's supposed to be giving you this medication in the morning if it hasn't really been given I will create a day text because it's supposed to be given and I will also chase the doctor and let the doctor know that the timing for your tabamacipine for twice daily is a bit um, short so we might need to change the timing for this one but for now I'll be happy to give you this medication all right now moving on to the next drug, levo levothyroxine today, 100 micrograms, ODPO, continuous, start date is today, finish date is continuous, signed by Amir Khan, 7556, it is due at 12 noon. So this is a valid, legible, and complete prescription, and it is due my time, I'm happy to give you this medication. However, Jake, I believe um, you've been taking this medication for quite some time, and I believe you're well aware that levothyroxine should always be taken in the morning on an empty stomach. So I would also have to let the doctor know about it, that the timing might need to be adjusted in the morning. But for now, if you haven't had your levothyroxine in the morning, it's fine. I'll, I'll be happy to give you this medication at this hour, all right? Okay. Okay. Moving on to the last page, page with the same information of the same patient on the addressograph. The drug is Zupiclone. Today, 7.5 milligrams ODPO continuous at 10 in the evening. Start date is today continuous. Prescri prescribed by Amir Khan 7556. So you also have a medication later in the evening. That's your Zupiclone to help you to sleep. All right. But I'm not going to give you that medication because it's not due this time all right okay. and there are no intravenous fluid therapy prescribed so i'm happy to um, prepare my medication so i'll do my hand hygiene so i'll prepare the medication starting off with prednisolone so prednisolone 
Um, dose on hand is 5 mg, desired dose is 10 mg. I'm happy, happy to give two tablets. The expiry date is March 2025. So using non-touch technique, I'll transfer to the pot. And then we have carbamazepine. Carbamazepine desired dose is 100 milligrams and the dose on hand is 100 milligrams. I'm happy to give one tablet. Expiry date is October 2024. So I'm happy to give you one. All right. And lastly, we have levothyroxine. Levothyroxine is um, desired dose is 100 micrograms. Dose on hand is 25 micrograms. Expiry date is December 2022. So I'm happy to give you four tablets. So I will be checking in my trolley if there are any uh, medication or levothyroxine that is on a different dosage, but there is none. So I will just be giving you that 25 micrograms. So I, have all so I now have here all the medications for you to take at this 12 o'clock drug round. But just so you know, I believe you um, you have this new medication, which is prednisolone. So prednisolone is to be taken in your case um, it's a uh, steroid, um, anti-inflammatory, just to decrease the swelling. And then we also have carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is to avoid any untoward um, seizure, just in, just in case, because you actually banged your head. So it is a possibility. So levothyroxine is for your, for your thyroid. I believe you're well aware of that as you've been taking this for quite some time, right? So for prednisolone and carbamazepine, most likely you might, you may or may not experience dizziness or any headache. And then for levothyroxine, um, upset stomach would also be one side effect you we need to look out for. So if in case you experience any of those, let me know. All right. Okay. So okay, I'm now ready to give you your medication. So you're already sat upright at a 30 degree angle, so that's fine. But before I give you your medication, I'll just have to reconfirm uh, your information. Can you tell me your full name, please? Jake Gonzaga. Jake Gonzaga, that's the same as your wristband as in the document in here. How about your date of birth as well? 29-9-1953. So that's September 29-1953 and your hospital number is 7367050. These are all correct information. Are you allergic to any food, medication, latex, or any dressing? Peanuts. Yes, you have mentioned a while ago you're allergic to peanuts. And yes, it's documented in here that you get the rashes. It's signed by Dr. Gregory House. Date is today. So I'm with the right patient. These are the right medication. I have already this. So I already have the medications ready for you to take. Would you like to take them all in one go or one at a time? All together. All together, all right. So let me just put that in one pot. And of course, um, can you just try and sip um, water just to check your swallowing ability? Okay. I don't see any problem. Uh, here's your medication. Okay. All right. All right, all done. Okay, all done. So I okay. I'll throw this in the clinical waste. Okay. Do my hand hygiene. All right, so um, I believe you've already taken your medication. I can see that you've swallowed your medication, so I'll just document in here. I'll just document the medication. So we have given prednisolone. I'll affix my initials and then the date, which is today. And then carbamazepine as well. And then the date, which is today. And the levothyroxine, my signature, and then the date, which is today. Um, I'm not gonna write in the drugs not administered because we haven't administered copodamol, but it's a PRN medication anyway. So I've already signed for all the medications you've taken today. Um, I, will, I will chase the doctor regarding your pain relief. 
so you can be given an alternate pain relief apart from paracetamol or cocodamol but for now you may just want to wait and see um, once the full effectivity of your medication has kicked in all right okay. but if it's still unbearable let me know so i can ask the doctor for another pain relief for you all right all right are you comfortable yes are you in um your your pain is manageable right yes all right so if you need anything don't worry here's the call bell just press on the orange button i or my colleague will come to your assistance okay mm -hmm. all right would you like me to open the curtains yes please okay let me just open the curtains and let me end the station with the seven steps of hand hygiene Let my hands dry. Thank you.